Hi everyone, it's Vacha here from RecordingStudio9.com and thanks for joining me again today. And today I'm going to be quickly demonstrating how to use Presence XT VSD sound module which is found in Presonus Studio One version 3 Prime, the free DAW. Just going to create a song. I'm just going to call it Presence XT for all just demonstration purposes. Just going to click OK. So that's our main screen. Just going to click on Instruments and then Personas, Presence. And Presence is the only sound module available in Prime, the free DAW. And if you don't see Artist Instruments just underneath Presence, that means you need to visit Personas website, log into your free account. And then from the software downloads page, you should be able to download the two sound module files that is required for all the sounds to be loaded into Presence. So if you already have done so, when we click Artist Instrument, we're going to have a whole heap of different variety of instruments available to us. I'm just going to select Strings. And I'm just going to select Full Legato strings, just drag it across and let it go. This will automatically create a new track, create a new copy of presence in memory, enable it, load the sounds and ready for us to actually have a quick listen. I can use the mouse to play Okay, so that's the sound that we want. If you want a different sound, we can certainly click here and load, uh, let's say, FM strings. Okay, or completely different sound as well. Let's say we want. Um, drums. Let's add the dance kit. Okay, that sounds okay. We close it. Just going to expand a little bit. Now, if you already have a MIDI controller keyboard connected and you want to be able to use your MIDI controller to play the sound and then record um, those MIDI notes in, onto your track, the first thing you need to do is make sure it is connected and enabled. And you can organize that in Studio One, Options, External Devices. I have my Aturia Mini Lab already connected and available. If it's not there, you can always use the Add button to add your MIDI controller in there. I already have another video describing how to actually do that, so I'm not going to go through that in, the, in this video. Now, when you actually click or press on your keyboard, you're going to find that you're not going to be able to hear any sound. You sort of wonder, what's going on? Why can't I hear it? That's only because you need to be, you need to enable your monitoring on. Now when I press it, okay, so that's how you can hear what you're actually playing. Now let's say we want to record something. By double clicking on the track, we can create a new blank MIDI object. Just going to leave it at two. Just zoom in a bit. Now I can enable record mode and might have some tick. Let's enable loop. I think I'll enable the loop. And just to make sure, 
record text we want record mix what will that do the loop will keep playing and every time it goes through we can actually add more and more notes into our uh, MIDI object here we go see what we can come up with Now you can see how it actually works. We can simply double click, edit, select all of that. Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> but you get the idea how that works. But if you don't have a MIDI controller keyboard, that is all fine because you can actually use your mouse. To create your MIDI thing. So let's. Remove There we go. Well, I hope this was a quick uh, demonstration how you can actually create um, your drum tracks and then obviously you can use multiple versions of Presence XT again by dragging uh, the, uh, let, let's call, where was it? Uh, like this one. So into a new track. Now we have and then double click add a new one then double click to edit let's play them all together So you get the idea. And if you find, want to find out how many Presence XT you have in memory, you can just click on instruments and it will actually show you uh, where uh, they are and how many they are and what sounds they are. You can rename them as well. So I hope this was helpful for you. And if you have any questions, feel free to uh, ask them in the comment section below and I'm more than happy to answer them for you. And until next time, as always, I hope you make great music. Now you know how to use Presence XT. Until next time, cheerio.